A few years ago, chocolate bars got fancy with cacao percentages and origin stories. And today, chocolate chips are experiencing a very similar renaissance, along with bigger price tags. So Jack's here to tell us if any of these fancy chips are worth it. Do you want the good news first? Always. The good news? Always good news first. These are so much better than the last time we did a taste test in 2009, but on average, the price has doubled. Wow, doubled. Yeah, basically, these are the same quality as now eating chocolates. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, so start eating. All right. We did the taste test the exact way that you were doing it, right from the package. We also baked with the cookies. Can you guess <laughs> what we made with them? Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, and we found very similar characteristics. The only thing that really changed were there were a couple of brands that uh, were rectangular chunks hmm. that we really love straight from the package, but caused all kinds of problems in the oven. Blobs, too much chocolate, mm. not enough chocolate, they didn't spread properly. Basically, those big chunks were causing irregularities in the cookies. And so, although we liked the way they tasted, they ended up at the bottom of the rankings. I didn't bring any of those here because you were going to like them. And then I was going <laughs> to tell you the bad news that they didn't bake very well. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about you, Julia. <laughs> so, big thing here that you want to be looking for is, first of all, sugar level. Mm -hmm. So, those percentages that are listed on the package, the cacao, basically, the balance of sugar. So if it says 60% cacao, that means it's roughly 40% sugar. There may be a little bit of an emulsifier, lecithin, a little bit of vanilla, but that's you know one, maybe 2% at most, and the balance is going to be sugar. No surprise, we thought that the brands with less sugar had more chocolate flavor. So that's a good thing. Second thing that you want to be thinking about is what is that chocolate flavor? You know, during the processing, mm -hmm. manufacturers can bring out fruity notes, black cherry, mm -hmm. uh, vanilla. Um, sort of, you know, tropical things. Mm -hmm. They can also bring out espresso, mm. smoke, leather. It's almost like wine. It is almost like wine. And people are very serious about chocolate, mm. all kinds of chocolate, including the chocolate chip. So any impressions of the four samples that are here? Um, this one tastes remarkably familiar to me. And I'm wondering if this isn't what I grew up with, which is Nestle semi-sweet chocolate. So that's my first impression. Okay. This one was very fruity. And you were talking about fruit at the time I was tasting it, so maybe I was influenced. But it reminded me of some really bitter, fruity chocolates that I'm actually not a huge fan of. I appreciate it, but not the biggest fan. These are delicious. I could just sit here and snack on these all day. So I'm in love with these. These, these are pretty good, I have to say. Their size is kind of the classic size I grew up with, but they have a better flavor than these. So if I were to rate them, Okay. I think these and you are actually, by the way, supposed to rate them. <laughs> <laughs> I would put these as first. These are second. Um, these are good. They're a different style than I like, but I appreciate the quality, and these would be last. Okay. I should say that the differences in size here, these did not impact the cookies. As long as it had the round, classic teardrop shape, it didn't cause any problems with the cookies in terms of distribution of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. So small chip, big chip, it's really personal preference. All right, so let's start with my favorite. So you chose Nestle's oh. newer, more expensive, sort of more upscale product. This is their bittersweet chip. So we probably both grew up on semi-sweet morsels. Mm -hmm. Their sugar content is about 57%. Sugar content here is really closer to about 38%. Oh, wow, much so lower. Much, much lower. And so you get more chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. They're also a little bigger, which I think has a psychological impact that you <laughs> think, oh, right. more chocolate, it's a bigger chip. <laughs> All right, now let's go with these, which I kind of recognize as having a fancier flavor. They're fancier. I'm surprised you didn't like it. That was the taster's favorite. Ah. So that's from Ghirardelli. Mm -hmm. That is their 60%. Now, they also make a semi-sweet, which we did not like nearly as much. This is actually the exact same formula as our winning bar chocolate. Uh, Ghirardelli, 60%. Bar chocolate is our favorite. We actually called after the tasting. They're like, yeah, they're the exact same thing. We just put them into different molds. Wow, well, that's new. Yeah, that is new. We like this. It sounded like you wanted a more classic flavor. I did, but I do appreciate the flavor profile in here, and I know it's very popular. So where, where do you want to go next? This one, which I also really enjoy. So you're back and you're eight years old again. <laughs> I am. I agree with you on most things. I'm going to disagree with you here. These are too sweet. They are only 43% cacao, and I want more chocolate. Okay. You can have your sugar. Okay. I'm taking the chocolate. I like that. And these, which actually I, in my head, thought were the original. What are these? They're from a company called Guitard. Yeah. Uh, it was the runner-up. Again, sort of high cacao. This was mm -hmm. our favorite of all the different Guitard products. And again, we thought just a lot of chocolate flavor and personality. All right, so there you have it. I guess I'm a classic girl, but if you want to buy the best chip on the market, reach for the Ghirardelli 60% premium baking chip at about $4.39 per bag.
Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.